Hey guys, today we're going to be making these pencil holders here. I was asked to make a couple of these, so this is the first one I made. I'll put up some pictures at the end of the video so you can see those. Let's get started. Okay, so I started out by marking center on my blank. This is just a jig that I got from Craft Supplies. It's a really handy jig for marking center on squares and circles and other things like that. Um, the blank I'm using, this is just some scrap wood that I glued up. Now I'm going to start Taking this down to round, I'm just using my spindle roughing gouge. Now I'm using my parting tool and calipers to mark the diameter of how big it's going to be and then the tenon size for the piece so that way I can mount it in my chuck. I'm just using a spindle gouge just to clean it up. Now I'm mounting it in my chuck. Now I'm using a flat wood bit to take out the majority of the waste on the inside so that way it'll be easier to clean out later with this Forstner bit here. This is a two inch Forstner bit. I'm going down about three and three quarters of an inch. There's supposed to be four inches tall. So we'll leave about a quarter inch on the bottom. And be sure to have an air hose or something when you're doing this so that way you can keep your bit cool. Now I'm just cleaning it up. Now I'm taking my parting tool with the calipers again and going across the piece, cutting it down to the correct diameter. So that way I can know how big it needs to be across the whole piece and I can just join each of the low spots. And again, I'm just using a spindle roughing gouge, taking it down until the lines are gone. Now I'm using a skew to kind of clean up the surface, make it look nice. This is a little bit, this tool is a little challenging to use, but when once you learn to use it, it's great for doing all sorts of things. Now I'm just sanding it. I just sanded this with a, started at about 180 and then I moved up to 400 steel wool. Right now I'm just marking out um, burn lines and then I use my point tool, I'm going to use my point tool to mark all of the lines. So this is just making a groove and then I'm going to take my wire burners and burn in the lines just to add a little bit of decoration. Now I'm going to sand it, clean it up. Now I'm using a 4 aught steel wool pad to just kind of buff the surface, make it look nice. And right now I'm measuring how deep it is so that way I can know where to mark the bottom 
to cut it off. So this is, I just marked it out at 4 inches. Marked it with my pencil. And then used my thin parting tool and went in most of the way. So that way I can see where the bottom's going to be. And then I took my point tool again and added in some lines on the bottom. Now I'm just rounding over the bottom with my spindle gouge so it's not sharp. And then I'm sanding that part that I just cut. Now I'm going to part it off, and once I parted it off, that's it. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit the like button and share it with everybody you know. Also, be sure to go follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Made by Brent, so that way you can kind of get behind the scenes type stuff. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button, that way you can get notified whenever I put up new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.